name's Luke Halford and this is episode four of my Create a Character Workshop. Alrighty, episode four. Let's look at colouring in our character. So here I have our character. I've redrawn her again. Each each of these episodes I'm trying to do what you guys might be doing. Um, what I've hopefully been trying to say is keep on redrawing your character. So I've got my character and I've redrawn her in a easier and nicer way and she looks very clean, well drawn. I haven't added all the scratches and stuff that I added last time. Um, this is just a simple version of a just making your character simpler and simpler as you go. Um, especially for what I like to do. I like to think of my characters as something I could animate. And when you're trying to animate characters, usually you try and keep them fairly simple. Usually. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about colour theory. So, when we're making our characters, sometimes we think about what each colour means before we put it on them. So, if we've got a character and they're very excitable, they're very passionate about what they do and they're very courageous, we might use red in their character design. We might use a fair lot of a bit of red when colouring them in. Maybe their favourite shirt is red. Um, maybe we colour them in orange to make them seem a bit more of a fun character, more adventurous, more optimistic. Or yellow for happiness. Maybe they're very positive, or they're always looking for opportunities to do things and trying to be overall happy with what they do. Green means this character is trying to grow, or their 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 character involves growth in some way, or harmony with the world around them. So maybe they're looking for ways to find peace with the world, and maybe they're trying to use kindness, and they're they're very kind characters. Blue can signify wisdom; they're a bit of, of a wiser character. Maybe they're looking for joy or they're very, they try and find the joy in everything. And they're very trustworthy character. Purple can mean royalty. Maybe they're a bit of a mystery character. And maybe the character's compassionate. Uh, com compassionate. Maybe they're nice to people. Maybe they look after people. And they're trying to find compassion. And this is just a very simple version of all the things that colours can mean. And if you find the time, or if you want to really delve into it, make sure you tr look it up. Look up colour theory, or meanings of colours. And there's lots of cool things that you can do to symbolise what your character might be or the type of character your character might be through the way they're coloured. Now, that's one way we can colour our character. So if we were to colour our character here, decide on some colours we might use, maybe I reckon our character here is very courageous, so we might use red in her design. I reckon she is... She might blue for wisdom, and she's trustworthy. Trustworthy character, so, so far we've got red and blue. And I think, as well, I think maybe she's very kind and she's gross and harmony involved in her character. So red, blue and green might be the colours that we use when colouring her. And that's well and good. So that's one way we could do this. And there's also using our colour wheel here. So this is our colours and this is a very simple version. I just wanted to do a quick one for this episode. But there's lots and lots of ranges of colours and there's so many colours in between each of these colours that a big colour wheel will be big and it'll be little pies everywhere off of it and um yeah if you want to see a bigger one and probably a bit more of a working one probably look it up or you can make your own if you want to if you've got all your colour pencils just 
make sure all your colors are lined up with each other. So some of the things we look at we have when we're choosing colors for characters is there's certain colors that work well together in art and in, in everything. <laughs> um, so some things we, we've noticed over the years, uh, color theory looks at this, is that we enjoy complementary colors. So you might have seen red and green in some characters, or blue and orange, or purple and yellow. And those colors we've decided, we've figured out, work well together and they look good um, to humans. Other things we've done is you might see a color here, a color here, and a color here, making a shape like this. So this is complementary colors. You might want to use two colors that are opposite to each other on the wheel to color your character. Or you might choose colors that make a triangle and they work well together. Or there's different ways you can do it. Those colors work well together and they they might make a nice looking character if you use those colors. And this doesn't mean you color your character completely with these colors. Maybe it's just, maybe I've got gray on some of these places. So our character having a space suit might have a fairly space suity looking design. So most of her suit might be pretty gray and white to kind of fit the color scheme of the moon or whatever planet she's on. And I still haven't decided that, which I probably should have done by now, if this was an actual character that I was looking to continue using. And who knows, I might later on come back to this character. But maybe when we're choosing colors to use, um, we use we might use purple for her slacks and red for the pen she's got no pocket. Like just little things, even if it's not a big part of the um, part of the Oh, I didn't even use color three for that. Using red and purple, that's right. We could probably throw in a greeny, greeny yellow if I was to look at that and then tell you the next thing that you could do. You could use two colors that are next to each other and then find one that is opposite to both of them and sits in the middle here. So you feel that in between color and you can kind of make a Y shape to select the colors you want. Another thing you can do is make a X shape to find the colors you want. And also, last of all, and probably one of the most, most used-ish is picking three colors next to each other. So some people use red, orange, yellow, and that's, they're all colors that work well together, or purple, red, orange, blue, purple, red, green, blue, purple, yellow, green, blue. All those type of things work for characters. So if we were to use these three colors here, maybe we want to make this red, since it's opposite these two, we might want to make it a bit more orange, and then it still symbolizes red. And maybe it's, it takes on some orange, so optimistic, fun, and adventurous, which is probably very adventurous. So. We've got a ready orange and a blue and green, and that's using one of our color combinations over here. This might be very beyond you, and maybe this is very high school kind of art stuff, but you can learn art at whatever time and time you want, and if you get to high school and get to high school art and they start teaching this, maybe you'll be a bit ahead. Um, but these are some things we can do to figure out what colors we want to use when coloring our character. And I'm just going to spend a little bit of time coloring my character and showing you what I mean. So, let's see, what things do I want colored? So I think maybe these pants might be black or something like that, black or brown, and this will, this will, um, oh, that's not the colour I want, I'm using some of my mum's pencils, I'm currently in lockdown, as most of you guys will be, same as me, I don't have all my art supplies here, so I'm using some of my mum's pencils, so let's add some colour in here, let's just block it in, we'll just decide what colours we want, let's get this here, it's kind of a bit of a bluer colour, and then there's also lots of different things and people that talk about this kind of stuff, but when you're creating characters, I think it's a, I think they say, from what I remember, um, it's about a 70-30%. If you have a, if you have a character that has color on them, you might have um, your blue and blue and green covering most of your character, and then you might have a highlight that, so that you don't use all three colors at the same amount across your character. You might use your blue and green for most of your character, and then maybe they have a scarf. Or maybe they have a pair of sunglasses that the rims on the sunglasses are red or something small, but having only a small bit of the colour, it'll stand out from the rest of everything else. And you might see this in the way that some people dress as well in real life, is some people wear lots of few colours, or lots of just one or two colours, and then they'll have a completely different colour somewhere else on their body. And that's what we call a highlight. And it will stand out, even though there's only a little bit of it, it'll stand out because there's only only a little bit of it. So we've got our Blacks and greys and very boring colours. These colours will just, they're just these colours because that's what they are in real life. You know, you, we don't really have, we're not thinking our astronaut's um, glass will be tinted a different colour. We're just going to do astronaut's glass as grey or white or we could have left it the way it was. Then maybe our red orange thing is our mask. Her breathing 
incognito mask, do some red orange, and you can colour that in like that. Again, going back with the red to make it a bit brighter. Nice and soft with these um, with the pencils, and then maybe just a brown hair. Got brown hair. So I spend a bit of time colouring with her character and don't mind some of the blue and I like the red and her brown hair and that and her pants are pretty cool but I think I'll change up some of the colouring the next time I draw her. But this is some of the things that you'll do and you'll try out different schemes and the way you colour it will change and you'll just keep on trying new things. And even though we talk about all this stuff, if you just want to colour however you want to colour, that's completely fine. If it works, it works. And that's one of the main things. If you um, you can follow all these rules or all these things, I'm not really rules, but all these things I tell you. But if you do things your own way and they work out, then that works. Same with any other rule in drawing and creating is you can follow the guidelines or you just do what works and what works for you is completely fine so that's end of episode four and i'll see you in the next one bye